Hi, George here, and today I'll be showing you how to add a completely new sound here into Minecraft. Not a sound that's already in Minecraft, but a completely new sound into the game. Let's switch over to the desktop, and I'll show you how that's done. Okay, we're here on my desktop, and there are a few things that you need for this. First, of course, you need to have your sound, and I have one here called Squeaky Ringer. Let's go ahead and play this. Just double click. There you go, just a funny squeaky sound. Kind of a dog toy sound. We'll use that one. Now my sound here has this traffic cone shape. This is just because I'm using the VLC media player to play my sounds on. If you're using something else, you'll have a different icon here. So don't worry about that traffic cone. That's just the VLC media player. And I need to convert this over into an AUG file format. We'll get to that in just a minute. Let me first show you where I got this sound from. And that's on a website called Pixabay. Let me bring up a web browser. Here we go. And I'll put this link in the description if you want to download this file. But let me show you how I found this one. I went over here to Pixabay. And I just did a search here for funny, and I changed this to sound effects right there. And it can be a big long list of all kinds of fun stuff. Now, all of these are free downloads and they're copyright free, so you can use these things no problem at all. Now, to play one of these sounds, just hit that play button right there. There you go, a different kind of a squeaky sound, and download right over here. Okay, let's go back over to our working folder. Here we go. We'll also need a pack.mc meta file. I'll talk about this in just a few minutes. You need a pack.png file here. This is just a little icon that shows inside the list of resource packs in your game when you install this. And all this is, is just any image you want. It's 128 by 128, and it's a PNG picture. That's all that is. And we'll need folders in the right location. So for our folders, the first one is assets. Inside of assets, we need Minecraft. Inside of Minecraft, we need sounds. We'll talk about this file in just a moment. Inside of sounds, you need a new folder in here, whatever you want. I made a new one, I just called this one custom. So I'm putting all of my custom sounds inside here. So that's my folder location. And then inside of here is where our sound file is going to be going. Let's go back here to pack. Let's just convert this over into a .og file format. It has to be converted and not named. Notice down here it says .mp3. You need to see that file extension. Now I'm inside of Windows 11. And here in Windows 11 is the View tab and Show and File Name Extensions right there. Make sure that that is checked and that you're seeing that .mp3. Okay, I'll bring up my favorite editor for working on these things, and that's the Audacity editor. It's free. And there we go. This is currently in version 3.6. Now, the easy way to bring a sound in here is just to drag and drop. Let me bring back up our working folder, which is right here. And I'll just take this song and I'll just drag it over like that. There we go. Now this comes in as stereo, as you can see. You need to convert your sounds into mono and then save those out as the .og format. We can do all of that in just one step. Very easy to do. Go up here to File, come down to Export Audio, and in here, here's the file name. I'm gonna shorten this down, make it just a little bit easier to deal with. I'll just call it Squeaky. Choose where you want this to go. Let me just change my folder here. And you want it inside of Assets, Minecraft, Sounds, and our new custom folder right here, saving it as Og Vorbis Files. And you can set that right down here. It says Format, Og Vorbis Files right there. That's the one that you want. And then down here where it says Audio Options, change the channels to Mono. And that's it. You're all set to go. Click Export, and that's done. We can now close this down, and it won't bother saving that. Make sure it's there. Assets, Minecraft, Sounds, Custom. And there it is, we're all set there. The next thing we need is a sounds.json file. Let me bring that up right here, Minecraft, sounds.json. Now I'm editing this inside of Notepad++. Again, free program, and this is the best place to edit these sound files. Now I'll put this code into the description so you can go ahead and get that. Or if you wanna get the whole pack, once I've finished with that, I'll put the whole pack on my website and there'll be a link for that for the downloads in the description as well to get the whole thing in just one shot that way with notes and everything else. Now in here, we need to make just a couple of adjustments. This first section right here, this is the sound event. And the sound event is the folder that your sound is in. Ours is in custom. And then the next part here is the name of the actual file. And ours is squeaky. Go back in here again with an A. Let me make sure I spell that right. There we go. That's the first part, just the folder right here and the name. I'm going to right click and copy this. We also need that over here. We have category, there are several categories for sounds and the one you want to use here is master. 
And then over where it says sounds, this is the actual sound, custom, and then right click and I'll paste. And there's that name again. So it's looking in the custom folder for the sound named squeaky. So this is the sound event. And this is the actual sound right here. And here's the category. And I'll just save that. Okay, let's now get this out of the way. That's all set to go. And back out here. We also need a pack.mc meta file. Let me bring this up. Here's what's inside of this. I just call this one new sound 1.21. Make this real easy. You can download this from my website. And again, I'll put a download link for that in the description. Or if you download the resource pack from my website, this will already be in there. But if you already have one, Make sure you set the pack format here to 34. That's important. And if you're using a different version of Minecraft, I'm in 121 right now. If you're using a different version, you'll need a different pack format number. And you can get those numbers again from my website. I have a list of all of those and that link is in the description. So that's all set to go. Okay, that's all we actually need to have in the pack. And what this will do is this will add that sound into the game. So for that, we need the pack.png. Hold the control key down, assets, and the pack MC meta. We don't need the sound. We already have it inside of the assets folder. I'm going to right click on this and it's compressed to a zip file. I'll call it new sounds 1.21 and we're all set to put this into the game. Now to get this in the game, we have to bring up the Minecraft launcher. Let me go ahead and I'll do that. There it is. Let's go up here where it says installations and latest release and click on this folder icon. In here, let's scroll down to where it says resource packs right here. Let's open that up. I want our new resource pack right here. So I'll bring that folder back up again. There it is. I'm just going to right drag it over here and copy. And it's now inside of the game. Back to the launcher. And let's play the game, make sure that the sound is actually in the game. Back over here to play and let Minecraft load up and we'll install that resource pack. Okay, we're back in the game. I'll hit the escape key, click on options and resource packs. And you should see our new sound right here. There's the new resource pack. Click on that arrow right there. It comes over here. I'm gonna get this one out of here. Here we are. New sound. Let's get that out of the way as well. So here's our new sound file right there. Let's choose done. And done again. Back to game. Let's first check this by playing a sound using play sound. SD forward slash key. Play sound and a space. And then this gives you all of the sounds that are inside of Minecraft. Now we're looking for Minecraft custom. So I'm gonna scroll down here or you can begin typing. Minecraft colon, I'll type in C and there it is, Minecraft custom dot squeaky. So there's our new sound right there inside the game. And I play this from the command prompt. Let's finish this off. This is gonna be a master. We want that right there and a space. I wanna play it out myself. So I'll just do an at S or at self. And I'll put in the location here, which is gonna be three tildes. And this now should play just fine. Hit the enter key. There it is. Okay, so now see how we can play this using the command block back there. Here's our command block. Let's right click on that. And I'll clear all this stuff out of here. Same thing. Play sound, this time no forward slash, just play sound and a space. And then Minecraft colon, I'll do a C, there's the new sound, custom squeaky and a space. It's a master sound and a space. And then it plays at the command block. So what I wanna do is I want it to be heard by the closest player. So I'll come down here where it says nearest player, which would be me. So I'll choose nearest player and a space. And we'll put in our location, that's three tildes. That's just our default location. That's tilde space, tilde space, tilde. That all looks good. Now down here it's unconditional and then it needs redstone because we're using a redstone button for this. Choose done. If I hit that button, right click. There it is, right click again. So there you go. We've now added a new sound into the game and it can then be used for whatever you wanna use that sound for. And notice that this is different than replacing an existing sound. I've done a lot of videos on replacing existing sounds. This is how you add a new sound into Minecraft. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I do new videos all the time. And I'll see you next time.